Hi Sagittarius, how's it going? And welcome to your October general reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Sagittarian, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Sagittarius, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Sagittarius, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Sagittarius, how are y'all doing? Thanks again for being here. Again, this is your October general reading. We'll be doing a Celtic cross today. Two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <clears throat> Again, for October, we are in Libra season, and we just came out of the full moon in Aries. All right, my loves, bottom of the deck, Sagittarius will have the three of wands as your theme. This is fire energy. This is you. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Immediately in this reading, I'm like, ahem, ahem. Like, yeah, Strength card, Page of Swords, Double. I feel like you don't feel um, heard or maybe you need to get something off of your chest. You need to communicate something or someone needs to communicate um, some type of news to you. Strength card, Page of Swords behind your Three of Wands. There's been a delay on a path. There's been a delay in a situation, something you've started recently. There's been some type of slowdown or delay because Strength card, Page of Swords, Someone needs to speak up. So, and not maybe a big whole conversation, whatever. I'm feeling almost like an ace of swords with this energy. Like you just need to know the truth so you can move forward in a situation or stay. I'm almost getting like, should I stay or go in a situation for a lot of you? But be, you're waiting for communication or for some of you, you're waiting to say something, um, a little bit of difficult energy, a little bit of difficult news to deliver to somebody. It's procrastination energy. Either you or someone you're dealing with is putting off some type of final result, some type of message that needs to be sent. Let's see more of what that's about. What's your current energy, current situation for Sagittarius, please? You got two cards, four of pentacles, king of swords, hangman, earth and air here. A lot of you could be dealing right now with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, strong, masculine. I'm hearing... Uh, Whoever wears the pants in the house, that type of energy, king of swords, four of pentacles. There's someone around you or you are very, um, there's a lot of authority here, a lot of authoritative energy. King of pentacles, magician. There seems to be almost a little bit of a power struggle with you and somebody. Um, king of pentacles, hangman, magician. I feel like you and somebody could be going for the same job, um, going out for the same, like applying for the same home, same location. Um, someone might have more pentacles than you. Someone might have more time, more experience, more finances than you. But what you have, you have the, the king of swords. You have the answer. You know the truth. You're better at speaking than this person. Speaking is really important right now. What's crossing this for Sagittarius? Yeah, five of wands, three of pentacles. There's a lot of competition right now um, for a place, a person, a space. Three of pentacles. I'm hearing, why can't we all just get along? I feel also, um, I was getting this in your pre-shuffle that you were the glue. You're the glue in your family. You're the glue in your friend group. You're the glue at work for a lot of you. Um, King of Swords is very kind of cold, masculine energy, but male or female watching, and I know you're fire, what I'm getting already is that when other family, for example, around you aren't getting along, 
You're like, hey, here's the plan. We're meeting here for dinner. Either show up or don't. Like you're very straightforward, not very emotional about what you're saying because you want, I'm almost getting like parent trap energy. Like you want to bring people together, three of pentacles. Like you don't want people to fight. You know, if you have roommates, for example, I feel like you're normally, <clears throat> see, someone's trying to speak up here, either you or someone around you. You're the one that's like, hey, okay, you're almost playing like counselor in a way. You're like the, the therapist or the counselor right now, like in your family, in your, in your community, in your friends. <laughs> that's what this is. You're like, can y'all stop fighting please and get along because we need to get back to work or we need to go on this trip or we need to make some dinner so can y'all stop fighting? <laughs> but you're the one that's like, kind of like the referee, like, hey, you stop that. Come on now. Uh, what's your focus, Sagittarius? Yeah, four of wands, beautiful commitment, home, um, family, union, relationship, lover's card, Gemini energy, six of cups. Yeah, you're focused on everyone just being together, celebrating. Why can't we all just get along in family? Why can't we all just get along in our friend group? Um, yeah, you're the glue right now. I see that. I feel that. What's been going on in the recent past for Sagittarius, please? Oh. The Strength card, Four of Cups. Some of you could have been dealing with a Leo. It's been hard for you to stay still in the recent past. It's been hard for you to stay... Um, doing the same old thing every day. It's been hard for you to be in the same group, same situations. I'm picking up, it's been hard, difficult. You've had to endure Four of Cups, being bored, not being completely fulfilled in whatever your situation is. What's crowning Sagittarius? What's on your mind? What's crowning you October? Ooh, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords. You are ready in your mind, you're like, this is a lot. This is a lot that's on my shoulders. I feel very, I'm hearing the word overwhelmed. A lot of you feel overwhelmed with responsibility, with tasks. Like I'm seeing you make a list and you cross a couple off, check a couple off, and then there's like a whole other page of lists of things to do. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords. I do this sometimes when I have way too much on my plate. You're just like, this is too much. Like, I, I now have to go to work, do this. Da, 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 da. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to do like, You have all these things that you're doing. Um, but also a part of you in your mind, Four of Swords, High Priestess, Queen of Swords, is you're like, eh, I'll do it tomorrow. There's a little bit of that procrastination energy because there's so much going on with you right now. Or I want to say almost more of like the people around you. What's in the near future for Sagittarius, please? Ooh, two of cups, wheel of fortune. Uh, in the near future, we've got some water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this could be wheel of fortune, something, something taking a turn after a disappointment. So you and someone could um, work something out here, like you and a roommate, you and a, a coworker, you and a friend. Um, you and someone in the house, in the group, could be a relationship also for some of you, Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Whatever's going on um, right now, conflict, whoever needs to speak up, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, we get through something. Two of Cups, we kiss and make up. Hey, good to see you again. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, we're still friends. Yeah, we're still good. Yeah, we're still in a relationship. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said that one twice. Let me see you. Let me see Sagittarius, please. How are you showing up in October? Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Look at you being the glue for everyone else. Being there for your friends, your family, your community, your, your coworkers, whatever but you're also going through something. You're, 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 you're hitting, you're actually at a deeper emotional level than a lot of people around you. Um, you're really good about masking your pain. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Sagittarius, a lot of you have been carrying 
um, a very heavy burden in your heart, a loss of someone, um, a breakup, a someone that you're not around or not having a good time with, you're carrying it very heavily within you. Yeah, it feels very heavy. No wonder you have the Ten of Wands up here. You're like, this is too heavy. This is too much. What's hidden from you? <clears throat> Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Someone can't sleep at night. They're worried about you. Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. Someone's wondering where you're at, Chariot. Someone's wondering where you're at. I'm worried about Sagittarius. I don't know where they're at. Someone feels like they can't find you. They can't see you. Um, I feel someone having a lot of stress and anxiety about you not being around. Okay. Hopes and fears, please. Sagittarius, October. What are the hopes and fears? Full card, lovers. Gemini energy again for some of you, Aries. You're hoping for a new beginning here. And again, I, I feel like a fear would be... Um, Staying where you're at, feeling not fulfilled, feeling uncomfortable. Lovers, Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Death. Yeah, Knight of Swords is trying to almost popped out too. Um, I feel like you are waiting for like a green light from somebody in a situation or someone's waiting for a green light from you. Hmm. Let's get an outcome and then we'll go deeper into the clarifiers. Spirit, what's the outcome for Sagittarius, please? What's the outcome? Thanks. Okay, very good. Ace of Wands is the outcome. Fire energy. This is you. This is a passionate new beginning um, being granted to you. This is spirit, the universe, your higher self, whatever you connect with there. Hey, here's something exciting. Here's a passionate new beginning. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. There's that King of Pentacles again with the Ace of Swords that I was picking up on earlier. Some of you are going to find some type of creative, passionate way again, to bring a group of people together. A lot of you have some type of new, creative, passionate idea and or person, eight of wands, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, that where it's like you're starting your own business. I heard clothing line for some, some of you, like a designer or something like that. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna start this new creative project. I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna get people involved, see what they can do to help me build a team, nine of pentacles, king of pentacles. And again, I feel like a lot of you have support financially from somebody. Um, but there's also this energy of like, you wanna do something yourself. And it could be that too. A lot of you might want to like say for example, hey, I wanna do this and this and that. I need a little bit more finances for it. Um, I could ask mom and dad, I could go get a loan, but you're like, no, I'm gonna go earn the money myself. That's that type of energy or message is coming in um, for a lot of you. Because whatever you've been going through strength card, it's been very hard for you to maintain and endure whatever's been going on in your situation. Your focus is the four of wands, celebration, a party, um, a connection uh, around a union. Four of wands is also like a wedding card, a marriage card. I do feel a lot of conflict resolution being resolved in the near future because you have the two of cups, cheers, uh, makeup energy. Good to see you. Good to see you again. We're okay. Yes. And then I feel like with that energy too, the ace of wands is like whoever you're kind of making up with right now or coming back into a uh, union with as a friend, whatever. I feel like y'all both learned some type of lesson, some type of karmic lesson because the wheel of fortune was out with this. And now you have a new appreciation for them, for the situation and or the experience, and so do they. Yeah, you're basically the, you're still the glue right now. You're being very like, hey, don't do that. Hey, be careful over there. You know, hey, some of you I heard like you're, 
you're covering for someone, like you could be covering for a friend who's going through something or a partner or a family member. And you're like, people are like, hey, are they okay? Yeah, they're fine. Like you're very like the face of, I'm seeing also be like the face of a book, a magazine, some type of publication um, for some of you as well. This is very deep. You're the face of something. You're the face of a brand. You're the face of something. Look at you and your cute faces. Okay, um, I've already pre-shuffled and cut this clarification deck just to save some time. We do have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles again, the Ten of Pentacles, the World card, wow, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of stuff going on either in finances or in family for most of you where it's like, You've, you're really working hard on your legacy, on your home, your, a lot of you could be decorating, redecorating, improving your home, um, that type of thing. With this deck, the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck is giving me the energy of, some of you don't like being the face of something. Some of you don't like being the head of the family. Some of you don't like being the one that makes all the decisions at work in the family that type of thing i'm especially i'm especially picking up a strong feminine energy if you're the one that always has to be the protector the checking people that kind of thing you are exhausted that's the masculine's role okay let's go back to the beginning four of pentacles king of swords All right, what is this for Sagittarius? What does the Four of Pentacles represent for you? We'll get two and two. Woo, Tower, Ten of Swords, Lovers. Page of Cups, Three of Swords. What's this King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here for you? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Strong, Masculine. Why is this here for Sagittarius? You want to go do something on your own. Death card, star card, um, double Scorpio for a lot of you. Star card, Aquarius, six of swords, five of wands. What's the tower about? This is very intense. Tower's about a major, major shift and transition going on in your life right now. Where things are being broken down on purpose so they could be rebuilt on a higher platform, on a higher foundation. Justice, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. What's the Betrayal? Five of Cups, Empress, Knight of Wands. Okay, so in this deck, the Justice card, the scales are off. So for a lot of you, you could feel really um, betrayed, like something's not going right in the home, home improvement. I'm hearing like a water leak or something like that and like I'm tired of living here I'm tired of dealing with this um and I'm getting that too like for a lot of you you could be reaching out and saying hey I need help here hey this is what's happening but there's an energy either you want to handle the situation by yourself or that's what's being that's what's being called for you to do what are you letting go of five of cups seven of swords page of swords I'm getting for some of you, spirits giving me the word slumlord, for example, like wherever you live or even like the boss, whatever, it's like some type of environment that you're, you're around is like breaking apart. There's like leaks and light bulbs not working and just all this stuff that you have to continuously keep together. But you're the face, you're like everything's fine, we're good. What's that term? What are y'all saying? It's like when you put, what's it called? Lipstick on a, on a pig or whatever. Something that's kind of messy, a group, a home situation. And I mean messy as in there's chaos. There's just a lot of, oh, that's not good. Oh my gosh. There's like disaster zone for a lot of you. And a, and a four of pentacles in a home, in a career situation, could be in a relationship for some of you. But you're like, I'm out of here. I don't want to be a part of this, but at the same time,
Why the star? Five of cups again, empress, king of swords. You're the cover up for something. I don't know how else to say that. You're the cover up for something. And I don't mean that in a, like a malicious bad way, but like there is some stuff going on in a group that you're in, in a place that you're in, and you're just like, we're fine, it's okay, everything's good. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Why the five of wands? This is people um, competing, being very jealous, argumentative. It's like a fight. Five of Wands is a fight. Why is this crossing? Ugh, why is this crossing Sagittarius? That's too many. Let's just get one more. We have this lots of major arcana. You're going through a major shift right now. Strength card chariot. Leo and Cancer for some of you. Double Leo out. What's this Five of Wands about? Crossing. Oh my God. And the Moon card. Ten of Wands. You're tired of covering for someone. You're tired of, of making excuses for someone. You're tired of the boss. For example, I'm tired of the boss skipping out. They're never really around, but I'm the one that's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm the manager. I'm here. I'm closing, but you're not really the manager. The manager's gone. Um, you know, you're the one that's like, hey, in the family, there's a lot of chaos and drama right now. People are like, hey, how are y'all doing? Hey, we're fine. But like there's something about that that's been going on for a long time that it's getting to you where you can't deal with it anymore. Ten of Wands. It's too much of a burden. It's too much of a responsibility and burden on your shoulders. Uh, you shouldn't have to be the fix-it person for everyone else's problems. You shouldn't ever have to be the fix-it person for everyone else's problems. That came through like an, in a megaphone, like loud and clear from spirit from me to you. Why are you doing this? Now I'm curious. Why are you such the cover up, the face of something that is completely falling apart behind you? It's fine, we're okay. Don't look over here. Like a little bit of a distraction energy. And again, it's not like in a bad way. Seven of Wands. Because if something were to fall apart in this situation, you might be out. This is very two-folded, three-folded. Well, if this falls apart behind me, then I have to move. Well, if this falls apart over here at career and work, then I got to go look for a new job. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like y'all are in a little bit of a rock and a hard place where you're trying to hang on. You're trying to save face, if you will, in a situation. But that's clearly it's it's there's very difficult energy. It's not doing anything for you. Except for testing your every limit. <laughs> Okay, let's look at your four of wands. This is your focus. <clears throat> Union, commitment, family, seven of wands. Why is the four of wands the focus for Sagittarius? Okay. Uh, on the four of wands, seven of wands, judgment, seven of swords. Four of Swords, Fool card, Ace of Cups. Why are you so defensive about that? Eight of Pentacles, because it would take a lot of work and heartbreak, yeah. Why Judgment? Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. What are you seven of swordsing about? What are you lying about? King of swords, page of swords, again, five of cups. A lot of you are making excuses and covering up for like a partner, a romantic partner, a best close friend, a roommate, someone that's very close to you. Um, I don't know. What are you covering up though? Page of pentacles. High Priestess, King of Swords again, Ten of Pentacles. For a small group of you, it looks like, I don't know, like I'm like in the movies, like when you're a kid and someone's sneaking in, you know, their boyfriend or girlfriend through the window 
and like, okay, there's nothing going on in here. There's nothing going on in here. Y'all are very tricky, 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 tricky right now. And please take this with a grain of salt. I'm getting also the word like cock blocker. Like you're cock blocking a situation on purpose. Like your role right now is to be in the way of something on purpose. <laughs> All right. What's the strength card recent past for Sagittarius, please? Ooh, Ace of Swords came back out or came out, which I felt that energy. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, babes. Ace of Wands and the Sun card, Ace of Pentacles. A lot of you, oh, this better not be. A lot of you have, like, no, for example, Four of Wands in a relationship. Like, you know that your partner has, has someone else or has a third party. You're fully aware, even if that's not you, you're like, yeah, I know that my friend has two people and they shouldn't. I know that, you know what I mean? Like, there's a strong, you know about a third party. You know about some type of third party. You know about someone else's secret. And you're not, and you're being like, I feel for a lot of you, you're doing really well about not, not revealing whatever this is. For some of you, even the past, it looks like, um, I don't know, you sit in for someone so someone else can have a day off and go have fun with, with their partner, their friends, whatever, whatever. And you're like, I can't keep doing this though. I can't keep covering for this other person or situation. A lot of you know about a third party and you're like, I, I hate that I'm the one that's entrusted with the information. Okay, in your mind, 10 of wands makes more sense now. You're like, I, I can't hold on to this burden anymore. It's messing up other things in my life. What's this 10 of wands uh, crowning you? Queen of Swords, full card, Justice again, uh, strong Libra, two of cups, which is what we're about to talk about. Yeah, a lot of you can't do this for a friend anymore. You can't play pretend and cover up for your friend. You can't lie for your friend. You can't lie for your partner, Hermit, Eight of Pentacles. You want, you want everything to come out in the open, full card and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords in this deck is we can see all of her face. It's about open communication, having open, honest conversation. What's the injustice here? Yeah, Ten of Cups. It's a beautiful energy of, of emotional fulfillment, but we can't see we can't see either one of these people's faces. So again, it's like, and if this is not like you covering for someone, I feel for a lot of you, like you could be in some type of secret relationship, secret something that you don't want other people to find out about. What's this two of cups in the near future? This is makeup energy. This is we're good. Two of pentacles, eight of swords, king of cups, page of cups. I heard you'll always be my baby. Um, Mariah Carey, always be my baby. You think I'm going to try to sing that? Hell no. Um, five of wands. You and a parent, it's like parent-child for a lot of you, huge age difference for a big group of you. And it could be something like that. Maybe you're dating or with someone that's like, there's a huge age gap, whatever. It's no one else's business. If it works for y'all, it works for y'all. Um, a lot of you are like, something's coming out of the closet. Something's coming out. Uh, and it feels like a relationship or it feels like some kind of connection. Why is it overwhelming? Two of pentacles, five of swords, Six of Wands, Four of Cups. Lots of water coming in. Lots of, hey, nice to see you. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Where, why? What's repeating in your head over and over? Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, 
the Empress, what will mom think? What will dad think? Knight of Swords. A lot of you are very paranoid, worried about what a parent figure, a grandmother, a, 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 a I'm hearing the wise one, someone you're worried about what they'll think of your relationship, of your connection, or if it's not cups like relationship, what you do as a creative outlet, okay? Okay, let's look at you, the Three of Swords. This is how you're showing up. This is your power. Why is Sagittarius the Three of Swords? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. We have all of the Sevens out. Sevens are a huge number for y'all. Um, that is a ch that's, that's a challenge number, okay? Um, it's, it's very much a challenging number. It's a lot going on with the Sevens. A lot of you, it, it hurts you to have to start over again in something. You're going to have to go. I feel like a lot of you, you're like, okay, whatever this is, three of swords, that person can have. <clears throat> there we go. That person can have that home, that situation, that thing. I guess I'll keep going to look for something else. What are you looking for? Four of pentacles. A lot of you are like, okay, well, that person outbid me for the home. Let me go find somewhere else. Hey, I'm trying to pay for this. Can't afford that one, but I can afford this one. A lot of you, it's just like, you might feel disappointed right now by not getting like every little thing that you want in regards to like, I can't afford this or I'm looking for that. And maybe I want to be in that neighborhood, but I can afford this neighborhood for now. A lot of you are giving up a title, giving up a, 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 a title and a relationship, a title and a workplace, and it hurts for you to have to leave. You've been somewhere for a long time, but it's time to go. Why the Nine of Swords hidden from you? Spirit, why is the Nine of Swords hidden from Sagittarius? Someone knows they messed up. Yeah. Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands, you, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Someone knows they disappointed you and they like, they're, they're stressed out. They think a lot about how they didn't treat you right. Um, I'm hearing that song, Bruno Mars, the part where he's like, um, I hope he buys you flowers. I hope he holds your hand. Because all you wanted to do was dance. Now my baby's dancing. She's dancing with another man. Right, Bruno Mars, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember what that song is called. If y'all can remember what it is, please put it in the comments down below. That's. I feel for a lot of you, that's your situation. There's a strong third party. Either you're stepping out of the way for someone else to have a connection, for someone else to have a job position, a role, a title that you really want or you've been in for a long time. A lot of you are like, no, this person can stay here at this house, this location. I'll go somewhere else. A lot of you are, diff it's difficult, but you're taking the high road because wherever you've been right now, it's been so uncomfortable. Full card, hopes and fears. Usually those readings are very sunshine and rainbows, like all the family, all the love, all the friends, all the opportunities. I, look, I guess we're trimming back a little bit this month. Trimming it back. Why is the full card here for Sagittarius? This is hopes and fears. Yeah, it, it's the inevitable is coming. Page of Wands, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. Once someone finds out what's been going on, it'll all, everything will break down and have to and be forced to rebuild. It, it, that really is a wish fulfillment for you to move on from this situation, Two of Swords. But this is the tricky part. Two of Swords is telling me you're like, I don't want to be the one that has to break the bad news. I don't want to be the one that has to have the confrontation, the conversation. All right, why is the Ace of Wands uh, the outcome for Sagittarius? There is an exciting new opportunity for you. What? Oh my God. If you're like, for example, stepping out of the way for something, 
it's for a reason because you have four of pentacles ace of cups on your ace of wands and the ace of pentacles like if you decide to move on and get out of the way again of a, of a of some type of role or position to where you have to stay in search of something something's gonna find you a new per like three aces with the full card oh my god a lot of you are really stepping into a whole new chapter in your life A lot of you are going to be really excited that you can start paying for more things for yourself, that you are maybe making more money. There's going to be an opportunity in money and finances and cups, love, relationships, or creative energy. You already have what you need and you've had it for the, the whole time. A lot of you are realizing at the end of the day, once all this energy and stuff sheds off, I see a lot of you like sitting in your home, sitting in your room, that type of thing. And there's all this creative... There's all these like creative juices flowing, write them down. A lot of y'all are gonna get very excited for a new home, a, a new location, that type of thing. A lot of you, it looks like too, you might be going from like a family home and you're moving out for the first time, that type of thing too. Where you're like, I'm proud of myself that I pay my own rent, pay my own insurance, pay my own bills, blah, 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 blah. Nine of Pentacles, you're becoming way more independent uh, magician and that's powering you up uh, Empress it's powering you up to do give you more confidence in things that you've um, three of wands at the beginning of the reading that you've been putting off a lot of you have been putting off doing this transition ending one thing getting out of the way for some of you in a situation so that you can move on because there's much bigger better new refreshed people places and situations right around the corner here very tricky, very interesting reading there, Sagittarius. Um, Y'all know I love you. Let's do your pick a card. Um, and those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Sagittarian that won the pick a card this time is Vonda Slocum. Vonda, you are my winner. Okay, so Sagittarius, if you want to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time it could be you. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all in the love reading or next time. Vonda, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Vonda? Sagittarius energy, thank you. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Star card, Ten of Wands. Kind of like the Sag reading. Either you're about to step out of the way or someone needs to step out of the way for you. Someone's, someone's rooting for you. A strong air, feels like a motherly figure or a friend. Someone's like, no, Vonda's meant for this. Like you're meant for some type of stage platform. You're meant to be seen more in whatever you're doing, but it takes someone else moving out of the way. Very similar to this. Spirit, what do we have for Vonda, please? Sagittarius energy. Ooh, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, You, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Strong, Feminine. We have the Lover's card, card of Gemini. And we have Libra, lots of air here. And we're in Libra season, Three of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Whoever this King of Swords is, is giving me like tough love energy. Someone's kind of very straightforward, a little tough love with you. Doesn't have to be a, a, a man, but it's someone with a lot of masculine energy. Even a female, but they're very like, hey Vonda, what's up? It's very <clears throat> robotic and cold, Swords energy. 
I feel like you're being like someone's giving you tough love for a reason so that you can learn some type of lesson. Because whatever it is you don't like what this King of Swords has to say, they might travel, they might push you away, Six of Swords. You're going to be like, oh, really? Lover's justice. I'm going to go do something on my own, build my own team, build my own family. They're giving me um, a little bit of dirty dancing, like you're the main, the main girl or whatever. And you're like, I don't want to be put in a corner. I'm not, don't, no one puts baby in a corner. Like I'm getting a little bit of energy from you. Like you're sick and tired of some type of authority in your life, listening to what they say, how they say it. They wear the pants, that kind of thing. You're like, mm, okay. You also, while that person might be on vacation, on a getaway, on while they're away, you open up some type of new door or situation for yourself. Um, and it's karma at the same time. Interesting. Because I feel like whatever this is, like I'm, I'm hearing from you, I'm just going to go do it myself then. I'll just go do it myself then. Okay, what's this King of Swords for Vonda? Let's get some clarifiers here. What's up with this King of Swords for her? Yeah, Five of Swords Strength card. You do not like what this person says to you or how they speak to you. Strength card, Knight of Cups. Someone's giving you tough love. I feel like this person could Strength card, Knight of Cups, Magician. Someone knows if they treat you like this or whatever, they know it's a little bit harsh, but they're doing it on purpose. I feel like there's like a masculine in your life, strong father figure, sibling, family member, someone who's like this on purpose. I'm hearing uh, to thicken your skin. Oh, okay, what's the six of swords? Okay. If it's the star, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my God, it is. Chariot, okay. This is like the type of situation, for example, yeah, chariot, so you can get moving five of cups. Someone's being like this with you on purpose or giving you a lot of, they might even be trying to scare you on purpose. But this is totally, for example, giving me, right before I jumped on my YouTube channel and it just took off amazingly, I'm so grateful every day for that. But I would watch, I've been watching, who doesn't watch YouTube like all the time? Like I've watched YouTube for years and years, right? But through watching so many other YouTubers, and the bigger their channels, bigger their platforms get, the more nasty comments you get. Lots of love, lots of comments, and that kind of thing. But whatever you're doing, you're about to be seen on a platform, on the cover of a magazine. You might be like uh, something you're going to be out in the open for people to see. And also, because it's public energy, uh, there's going to be a lot of love and support, but there's also going to be a lot of hate and negativity right? People who think that they're tough and strong saying nasty comments from their phone or hiding behind their computer screen. Like I am getting the energy for you. Someone's almost training you or practicing, or you're even doing research on like what it really is like when you're in that realm. And yeah, my skin, for example, had to get way thicker because I'm a water sign. I'm very sensitive. And when people are very rude and negative and mean, I used to take it to heart and it would hurt. But now I just know that when people are negative and mean towards me when I'm open and giving free love and free advice and being genuine and authentic, it's a them problem all day, every day. So you also need to learn that lesson as well. Let's move on, Queen of Wands. So you're being prepped in a difficult way for a reason. Queen of Wands, this is you. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Vonda? Yeah, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. It's exactly what I said. Thickening your skin. You're like, oh, that's how you do it. Page of Wands. Give less Fs. You have to care less. And I don't mean that And for what you do, for what you're putting out there. Spirit is asking you to not take on Page of Wands. Other people, adults or not, other people's immature, can't face themselves. So it's easy to beat up on you because you're in the public eye, you're popular in your community, you're something. 
What's the lover's card coming in for you? Card of Gemini. Some type of divinely guided person or opportunity. Yeah, two of wands, king of wands. Yeah, this is, you're going to definitely be at the next level of your situation. You actually might, king of wands, have like some type of partner, a friend that com might come in to help you. King of wands, queen, and you're the queen of wands. All right, what's justice here? Card of Libra, we're in Libra season. Why is this here for Vonda, please? Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and let's look at your three. And why the three then? Yeah, Nine of Cups, you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna be good, because now you're gonna start doing what you love. You're gonna be conflicted for a little bit and a little bit overwhelmed with like money, duty, responsibility, while also doing something that you feel div divinely guided to do. You are taking the next step up in the situation and you are, I feel like you're being prepped for something really big. Um, so it's actually happening for you. And like, for example, if this King of Swords is like, I feel like it's like a some mask in your life that's like bullies you a little bit. And I don't think they mean to because they love you, but they are a bully, that type of thing. It's like you have, you've had to get, got, you've had to get used to that in one way or another for whatever huge platform you're about to step on. Because if you think that one person being rude to you, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's hurtful, but... For example, like YouTube or anything else like that. Um, there's a lot that goes down in the comment section. Okay, um, that's what I mean by this reading. You're definitely being prepped for something bigger on purpose. It's a little difficult now, but you're gonna understand why in the future. All right, love. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.